Dr. Phil is in the 17th season of his popular daytime talk show. Now in a new podcast, Analysis of Murder, he's taking a close look at infamous cases that captivated the nation. His first season analyzes the story of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. She pleaded guilty to second-degree murder in the stabbing death of her mother, Dee Dee Blanchard. Gypsy claims Dee Dee abused her for years, forcing her to have medical treatments she did not need. Now, she is asking for an early release from prison. Dr. Phil, good morning. Good morning. This is an incredibly complicated case. Why did you decide to make it the subject of a whole podcast? Well, because it is so camp so complicated. You know, the mother here uh, clearly was Munchausen's by proxy. Right, that's and or fa factitious disorder imposed on another, as it's now called. And this is a disorder in the DSM-5, but I don't really think it should be. Uh, I think this is more abuse than a mental illness. And this woman had turned this child into a cash cow, I had done a couple of dozen surgeries, all unneeded, had her on a feeding tube her whole life, and the system had failed this young girl. It failed her. Doctors had discovered this, didn't follow up. Uh, CPS had been called a couple times, didn't do anything, just gave her back to the abuser. Mm -hmm. And it became apparent to this young girl that, look, it's going to be one of us is going to die. It's either her or it's going to be me. The only way I escape is if, if she's dead. You can make a case that this is kind of self-defense. But on the other hand, you can't condone vigilante justice. And it was a murder. brutal. It was a brutal murder. Brutal, not by her, by someone she met on the internet. Yeah. I mean, her mother sub subjected her to more than thirty surgeries. It was unbelievable. I, she I, took I out just, her salivary I, glands. Yeah, and and so, but you interviewed Gypsy Rose in prison. What did you learn from her? I did, and you see her in early pictures where she looks, uh, you know, tiny, and and she speaks in this squeaky voice. Her mother had convinced her she had a mental age of six or seven. When I interview her, uh, you know, she's an articulate young woman. She really had blossomed. She said that she felt less controlled and imprisoned in prison than she did before she got there. Uh, she was very forthcoming. Uh, and, you know, she, she meets this guy on the Internet, and everything starts rolling downhill from there. Luck of the draw. What if she had met someone that was a mental health advocate or a normal human being that yeah. had just said, look, I'm going to call the police. We're going to show up at your door. Something is going to happen here. But what I want to do in, in these podcasts is take people inside the minds of these killers so they understand how this happens. Because, uh, you know, people say to me all the time, Dr. Phil, who does this kind of thing? Yeah. Yeah. But when they say that to me, it's not rhetorical. Right. They really they mean who yeah. does this kind of thing because we want to know how to spot these predators. We don't know how to avoid these people. We want to know how to protect ourselves. And have you come up with a, a theory of what happens with people? Are they kind of normal people who just kind of slip in a moment? Or is there some special characteristic about these kind of people that you're talking about? You know, there are, there are some characteristics of these kind of people. And one is they grow up without empathy, mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. And, you know, you either have empathy by about age seven or eight or you don't. Yeah. Wow. And those people that are sociopaths or psychopaths or antisocial personalities, they're the one disorder that tends to get worse in therapy rather than better. Oh, that's interesting. Because what they do is they learn how to mimic the way they should behave. Wow. So oftentimes, not always, but oftentimes they tend to get worse because they learn, okay, here's how I should behave. Yeah. And it just makes them more powerful. Yeah. Yeah. Talking yeah. Dr. Phil, thank you so much. Episode one of Dr. Phil's podcast, Analysis of Murder, is available now and we'll be right back.